Hello, everyone. <laughs> good afternoon. Yeah, very well, good afternoon. Well, um, TEDx Ellis Bridge, thank you so much for having me today. And with such great speakers, I'm sharing this stage. It is my 14th TED Talk, and I'm so excited that TEDx Ellis Bridge is on that list. Thank you so much for having me out here. Um, when we talk about Pegasus, what is Pegasus for me? It is freedom. When we talk about freedom, the freedom is how do you decide what you want in life, how well you want, how desirable it is, how passionate you are towards it. I'm a criminal psychologist. I'm a lawyer, honorary special police officer, social media, yes, social activist, yes, and then I'm a lawyer. For me, freedom has a very different term. Freedom is responsibility. How many of us really believe that you are responsible towards your freedom? We all are talking about freedom. Freedom is our fundamental right. Yes, Article 19, Constitution of India, perfect. But are you responsible enough to take that freedom in the right way? What happens when there is a mob lynching? I am there when I'm taking up these cases, we're talking about it. You have seen child rape, you've seen molestation, I have this domestic violence act, which we have, and I've seen so much of domestic violence. What we are looking into is, we all are talking about freedom, 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 sedition. When we talk about our country, we have this freedom, I have this right, I will move forward, I will take what I want to take from you. But do you know what you're taking from the other person? You are taking the freedom of the other person. You're taking their life. You're taking, you're committing something which is not yours. When a fundamental right is till here, where your nose is, this is your fundamental right. The other person's freedom, fundamental right starts from where their body starts. Mob lynching has been happening so much. They've taken this freedom of law, law and order in their own hands. They're doing it because they believe it is right that they can go ahead and they can take and they can grab that. When they're raping a woman, it is just for lust. But they're in their minds, they believe that it's a freedom. So when we talk about criminality, the criminality which is there in your mind. It is not with everyone. But when it is there in your mind and the people who are accessing it, they're accessing that crime is there. It will only happen, the mens rea will only happen when you're going to make it happen. When it is happening around, the freedom I can take, the freedom I have, because it is my fundamental right. We cannot exceed from our arena into someone else's arena. We have been sitting in social media talking about so many things. We talk about ex-politician, we talk about any state, we talk about a government, and we talk about, they have this, they have that, yes. Article 19 gives you this fundamental right to, to have an expression of speech. There, many, there was a university, JNU University, there when you are speaking about you, the people who are being put into behind bars because you're speaking, you cannot speak that. There is a defamation case where as a lawyer we have seen so many people putting it up. Oh, you spoke something against me, this is a defamation. But how do you relate yourself to it? You are talking something which, does not, which, which, which is not yours and you're just keeping on talking about it into that person's life and you just take that thing because that's not rightfully yours. For me, 
freedom is way beyond freedom for me when i started my work was way beyond i had started my journey which was like i am married for 23 years i have this my older boy is 22 the younger one is 19 and when i had this marriage i was not even graduate i was not even graduate i got married in 96 not even graduate moving ahead 13 years i took to just be with my family and that when i was just looking into this fact i was just moving ahead and that is the time when i got to know that i have brain tumor i have pituitary adenoma <laughs> we talk about freedom what is freedom your life you say that's 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 yours it's not it's not yours the life is now everybody says are we will die we will die each day we'll die we'll die but why don't you understand that we die only once we live every day we really live every day and it is very difficult to live every day with that freedom of yours to do something my 13 years of my life in that period after that from 2007 now it's 2019 i did not look back because i was not a victim i was not a victim of my circumstances i was a survivor have you seen an acid attack people i sit with them i took up the cases and when i went to them i see myself the most ugliest person and they are so beautiful people imagine their freedom who took their freedom because they said no we were not going to do this we're not going to do that and what they did was what they got in the end was the asset the freedom is not taking somebody's life the freedom is to stand with that person to give yourself selflessly it could be just a word pegasus you want to float float over with the person freedom is a team for me the journey i have taken it would not have been easy we talking about just which just talked about being lonely and being alone how does this happen i was not lonely but i actually made myself alone because the the arena which i wanted to walk could not have been walked with so many people i had to take that step one by one i did not know how to walk after a brain tumor after this exp- that, that operation which i had i i started living my life i took that life in my hands and i started moving ahead which was a very difficult task we are talking about each and every one's freedom have you even talk collectively about india have you even talked collectively about your family we always talk about one freedom we do not talk about the group freedom we do not talk about the freedom of our country we talk about ourselves we keep on talking about that yes you can go ahead you can achieve things around but to go to that deep level you have to understand where are you existing what are you going to get out of it what freedom means to you and to your person to your partner in domestic violence what do you mean freedom is so many cases i'm handling it's of divorce live in relationships have come up so much why freedom live in relationship has a freedom freedom of what freedom of having a multiple relationships is that freedom you could do that in when you're staying in the in your own places in your own home in in your married life you can do that but no 
because there is no freedom. Because there's alumni attached, there's maintenance attached, there are things that are, the children attached. What happens? Where do you lost? The problem is, the people are thinking that that freedom which they are in, the space they are in, is not only theirs, it is theirs, yours. A narcissist personality talks about freedom in a very alpha manner where the person is only himself. For me, again, freedom is when you and me walk on the same path without being getting selfish, without touching each other's nose, without throwing acid, without mob lynching, without thinking about commitment to another person when you're already committed, without feeling that you have failed in life, it's a teamwork, it's a place where you grow. It's a place where you feel that you are reborn, that you are a part of yourself. I took that freedom of becoming what I wanted to become, but not on the cost of my children, not on the cost of my marriage. My freedom is mine, but not on the cost on on the stepping stones. It, it really relates with the people we are in. That is why when we see so much of crime, we talk about who and what is doing. So our government is having their own freedom, administrative body having their own freedom, we judiciary has their own freedom, then why is it not that we're getting what we want? The justice is not being served, why? Because we are getting so selfish that we do not take that responsibility to ourselves. We need to move further, understanding that Pegasus can only happen when you and me, you and I, walking hand in hand without touching the very point when that person says, this is my arena and we respect that Respect and responsibility is a part of our freedom. Thank you so much.